I used to dream and think of the day that I would make money around the clock, 24 hours a day. And it may sound like a dream to make money in your sleep, but it's so much more than that. It's an actual thing and it's something that you can make happen for yourself. Which is all thanks to this phenomenon called passive income, which isn't really a new thing. Like it's been around for a very long time, but this isn't something that most people grew up knowing about. Like I didn't learn about passive income until I was 21 and I definitely didn't learn about it in school because I guess it's better to learn about the important things that you actually use in life, like trigonometry. Now passive income can be hard to earn, but it's very rewarding and unlike trigonometry, it's actually useful and it can change your life. So I'm about to show you the easiest ways to make money in your sleep. Hey, what's up? My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can better yourself every single day and live life on your own terms. Let's get into this video. There's a concept out there called time capturing, which is one of the two biggest ways to earn passive income. And it's literally when you trap time in the form of something that lasts forever. It's the same thing that music artists do when they record a song. And then once they record that song, that time is then trapped in an audio recording that can be replayed over and over again across multiple platforms, and it can be sold millions and millions of times. If you've ever watched the show Friends, all the actors and actresses from that show make millions every single year just from the royalties they make off of that show alone to this day. Even though the show ended all the way back in 2004, but it's because the jokes, the laughter, the serious moments, the drama, all of this stuff, the good acting, it got captured in episodes that can be replayed by people like you and me over and over again. That's passive income. Even me, you're watching me right now, this video right here, however long this video ends up being, this time is captured within this video, which can be watched an unlimited amount of times on YouTube. And the more views this video gets, the more I get paid. And that's, that's whether I'm sleeping, eating, reading, working out, it really doesn't matter what I'm doing at all. It's even how I made $800 on my first month ever of being monetized on YouTube. But you don't have to be an actor or a singer to earn passive income. There's tons of different passive income ideas that exist with in time capture. It all revolves around you creating something. And if you remember this, you'll always be able to think of passive income ideas on your own. Create something around what you're good at. And the easiest way to make passive income from what you're good at is through digital products. And this can be either through information or entertainment. Let's say you're really good at editing videos. So you record yourself making tutorials of how to edit videos, how to use special effects, how to use presets, how to create presets. And then you compile all these videos into one class, one online class, for anyone who wants to learn how to edit videos. You only created the online course one time, but it can be sold an unlimited amount of times. That's passive. You may be really good at making templates on Microsoft Word or Excel, and let's say you're really good with making professional templates, so let's say you wanna make a resume or cover letter template that people then buy that you charge for $15 a pop very low effort you create the templates once and then they're just hosted online you can host them anywhere on etsy you can host them on your own website on wix squarespace whatever the case is and people can buy from this if you're really good at excel and especially if you're good with numbers and formulas you can make a budgeting spreadsheet that you put out there for people to buy and especially if you're able to make the budgeting spreadsheet look like attractive, like something that people actually want to type their numbers into because, you know, spreadsheets be looking boring. That's something that people would pay for, especially if it already has the formulas entered in there because then they won't have to do the math themselves. It's official. I'm an adult now because all of those examples were really boring. But those examples of creating spreadsheets and templates are by far the easiest way to make passive income. The only downside is you won't see quite as much passive income as you would with the online courses. But an online course requires way more effort up front, and that's the thing, you're charging people for the value that you're giving them, so with the course, it's gonna be a lot longer, it's gonna have a lot more time put into it, and you're gonna have a lot more information, so you get to charge people more, like way more than a template. I'm talking hundreds, sometimes even thousands per person who buys your course. Then there's the idea of leveraging platforms like YouTube, and this isn't easy by any means, but frankly, there's no easy way to earn passive income because if there was, everyone would be doing it. That said, this is the easiest way to make a lot of passive income with little to no money in the shortest time frame. Nobody can argue with me on that. I'll say this, YouTube is easy in the long run. That's because in addition to what you earn on YouTube from the ad revenue that you get once you hit certain numbers, YouTube is just an overall unique platform because it allows you to channel your earnings through multiple avenues within the larger platform of YouTube. 
So think of it this way, YouTube houses your videos. Each video has a description and a comment section in which you can link more things for your audience to click on. So if you have one of those templates that I talked about earlier, or if you have an online course, your YouTube video, which is housed on YouTube, which is seen by thousands of people, guess what? If somebody, if one out of a thousand people wants to click on that link and see what your course is about and they end up buying it, that's more money for you. But it doesn't just end at templates and spreadsheets and online courses. It could be anything. It can be an ebook. Literally anything that can be consumed on the internet, you can link it within your description. So if that's something that you're offering the public that they can pay for that you only had to create once, you're going to make passive income off of it. And the really cool thing is the traffic that goes to your website or wherever you're hosting your products and buying your products, that's all channeled through YouTube. It's super easy because for you, there's no marketing, there's no buying ads. This is YouTube pushing your content out to your uh, target audience. And YouTube already has an algorithm that pretty much knows your target audience to a T. So when they see your videos, I just rhymed. So when they see your videos, they also see your description and your description can have any of the things that you offer linked. And the really cool thing is the traffic that's going to your website or wherever you're hosting, whatever your products are, that traffic is completely channeled through YouTube. So if someone's looking for how to invest in the stock market for beginners on YouTube, hold up. I got to chill with these boring behind examples. I just, hold on a minute. I'm about to put myself to sleep. A better example would be if you go to YouTube looking for a video of how to make an at-home movie theater, you're probably going to want to know what equipment you need, right? Because at the end of the day, if you don't use the correct equipment in your homemade movie theater, you're not going to get the ultimate experience that you want to get. It's actually funny because someone in the comments actually asked me to make a video specifically about that. But if I were to make a video on how to build a movie theater at home, I would tell you exactly what equipment you need, what you don't need. I would show you exactly what I use. And then I would link what I use down in the description in, in the form of an Amazon link. And if you click that link and you decide to buy through that link, because you know, typically when people look up to a creator, they're like, you know what, I want to use what that guy's using because he's been helping me out for a while. I'm going to help him out a little bit. You know, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to buy this. And then, you know, then they have the exact same equipment. And so they know that they're not getting BS about the quality because I just showed them in my video what results I get from using the exact same equipment that they're about to buy. You get what I'm saying? And through that, I get a commission, which makes it an entirely passive source of income. Super easy, but the hard part would be to actually build a community and build that trust of people to the point where they actually want to listen to what you say, they listen and believe in what you say, to the point where they want to follow you and look at what products that you purchased yourself, to the point where they even want to spend money on stuff that you have to offer outside of just your content on YouTube. That is the part that's extremely hard to do. Now, all of those examples are things that you can literally compile into one big fat stream of passive income, or you can have them separate. But either way you look at it, that is all one way of creating passive income. Capturing time in the form of something that lasts forever. And these are very easy on your pockets, but they're not easy on your time at all. They take a time commitment to set up. And they do require that you're good or at least knowledgeable at something. But it just so happens that those are the easiest to scale up your income because think about it. You sell templates and it's a hot commodity on Etsy or something and you make, let's say, $15 per day for a whole month. You know, you're going to make $450 a month passively just from having a template that might have took you, I don't know, an hour or two to make. Let's say you made $500 a month on YouTube and that was average, but on top of that, you get affiliate sales and on top of that, you get ebook sales and on top of that, you get template sales. At that point, you're having multiple streams of income through just YouTube alone because YouTube is pushing the content for you. And there's several YouTubers out there who have quadrupled their income in the middle of a pandemic even through using this method that I'm telling you right now of having the platform of YouTube as like a host of other ways that they earn income. And you know, the concept of capturing time really blew my mind at first because every time that I put my time into something, especially with it being work-related, it's always felt like I always had little to nothing to show for it. Like if I go cut the grass right now, it's, it's going to look good for a couple of weeks, but then it's just going to grow back and I have to do it again. Like if you're spending eight hours a day at work right now, it doesn't matter how much you get done or how much you don't get done, you still get paid the same every single hour. You're not necessarily being paid for the value that you bring to the company, but you're being paid for the time that you give to the company. 
See, it's a lot like you're carrying these buckets full of water and you're walking miles and miles and miles. And it's like you do it for eight hours and you do it every single day. But once the eight hours is up, you have to dump the water. That's a literal representation of how time usually is looked at when it comes to money. So it blew my mind that you could do something one time and get paid for it indefinitely. And for the longest time, my only reality was that my efforts would disappear after I worked a hard 8, 10, 12 hour day and there was nothing, to, literally nothing to show for it because I had to go back and do the same thing over and over and over again. Like, I never liked the idea that my efforts would disappear to the point where every day starts at zero and now I have to go back to work 8 hours, 8 hours, 8 hours, 8 hours and you have to do that 5 times every single week for 5 days. Just like the bucket analogy suggests, it's because the time that you spend at work isn't captured at all. All of your efforts disappear after that eight hour or however many hours it is that you spend on a normal shift. For a lot of people, it's 10 to 12 hours nowadays. But once that time is up, the value is done. There's no more pay, which is why most people who work, their time, their, their pay is limited to the amount of time that they spend at work. And you probably already know this, but even your money can be captured in such a way that you earn passive income from it. And that's through a multitude of different types of investments. And that's the second big way to earn passive income. And this is typically where people hit me with, well, you got to spend money to make money. And to be completely honest, that phrase boils my blood for one, because it's kind of true to an extent. And two, because it's slightly true, it gives people an excuse to be average or in a lot of cases below average. Why do you think I'm always talking about saving money? You see, there's more than life than just putting your money into a savings account with little to no return. You know what I'm saying? That same exact money that I tell you to save, a fraction of that can be put into the stock market. And while I can't legally give you investment advice, I can tell you this. The same exact money that I tell you to save all the time, a fraction of that money can be used and invested into the stock market. And while I can't legally give you investing advice, I can tell you this. If you do your research on the stock market, you can decide for yourself if you want to put your money into ETFs, mutual funds, individual stocks, bonds. It doesn't really matter because the bottom line is everyone is going to choose something different because we're all in different stages of life. But just a few hundred dollars every single month invested can and will multiply over time. And if you get into dividend investing, which basically just means that you're putting your money into stocks that are known to pay really good dividends so that you can receive a regular income from those stocks, then you'll literally receive passive income from owning a share of those stocks, whether or not the price of the stock fluctuates. And just some dividend stocks off the top of my head are like the Target Corporation, Johnson & Johnson, JP Morgan. This video is not about stocks. Let me slow down some. But you get the idea, right? The same way that you have money going automatically into your retirement accounts, you could be putting money individually into other accounts, whether it's another form of those investments that I talked about earlier, whatever the case is. And you have to do your own research. You have to figure out which ones are the riskier investments and which ones are the safer investments. But the number one rule of investing is always invest what you can afford to lose. You have to use disposable income. And my philosophy is this. Sure, I can blow $400 a month on whatever I want to on shoes, on clothes, on entertainment, on food. It doesn't matter. I can just, I can spend away. Or I can invest that same $400 into something that can grow. And either way you look at it, that's $400 spent. Except one has the capability of growing in price. So I'd rather risk it growing. And if I lose it, well, guess what? It would have been lost if I would have spent it on something else anyways. And by the way, that's how much money the average person spends every single month on non-necessities. Well, actually, that's being generous because the actual number is like 480 something. This is overall the easiest way to earn passive income. You can see results pretty much immediately if you have a decent amount of money in your investment accounts. But the thing about this is it's going to take a lot of time for you to accumulate the amount of money to see some really strong streams of income from your investments. I'm talking like hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions of dollars to see really healthy, big streams of income coming from just your investments alone. And that's what people mean when they say, let your money work for you. Think of every dollar as an employee and actually think about what you could do with it instead of just wasting it on something you don't need. 
Now, money capturing obviously is going to be harder on your pockets than the time capturing method because when you do the money capturing method and you invest your money, now you have to hope and pray that the stock market is acting right. So once you put your money in there, it continues to grow over time. And once you put your money in there, you automatically assume the risk of losing some money because the stock market is literally a roller coaster and it's unpredictable. Even though one of these methods is capital intensive while the other is time intensive, here's what you need to understand. They both scare people away, which is probably why we have this huge wealth gap problem that we have right now, by the way. But that's a topic for another video. But anyway, I want you to understand this. Either way you look at it, in your lifetime, you're going to spend both time and money. They're both going to be going by. So the fear of wasting your time or losing money is actually kind of irrational. Because nobody is telling you to spend every waking moment, every hour of your life working towards something that might fail. You know, nobody's telling you to do that. No one's telling you to spend every dime that you make and put it into investments. No one's telling you to do any of that. So where does the fear come from? Let's say no matter how much time you put in, you still didn't get passive income out of what you're trying to do. And let's say if you put money into an investment, but you lost money doing so, guess what? Time and money went by, but that was not wasted time and that was not wasted money because I guarantee you, you learned something from that experience. And if you learn something, how could you then call it wasted time or money? And the key is you got to use your own discretion, but the whole purpose of this video was so that you can understand the basics of passive income and so you could see ways how you could actually yourself build your streams of passive income and make money in your sleep. Because I don't know about you, but growing up, the only way that I ever knew how to increase my income was to figure out a way to position myself in such a way that I'm able to make the maximum amount of dollars per hour as possible. Which, don't get me wrong, it's a good way. You can start your own businesses and charge thousands of dollars for your services or whatever, but that's still not passive, that's active. So. I wanted to open your eyes to a whole new realm of possibilities and hopefully this video did just that and hopefully some of you are motivated to actually go out there and build passive streams of income because they're extremely rewarding. Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryans and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.